What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on a pretty cool tent that maybe you saw before, maybe you haven't. And it's unique, it's different, and it's unlike any other tent you've probably ever seen really because it doesn't go on the ground. It goes up in the trees. <laughs> this is a tent style uh, connect. And uh, they make a bunch of different models, but this one's called the Connect. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like because uh, if you like to camp off the ground, or if you're camping in a place that has a bunch of rocks like this, there's a, rock, a bunch of big rocks everywhere, and it's uneven, or if it's slanted, or if you wanna camp over a stream or a creek, right over the uh, creek, and you have a bunch of trees to connect your tree to, you can do that with this. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put this tent up and uh, show you what it looks like when it's up in the trees out in the forest. By the way, we are at um, Galena Creek Park in South Reno, which is the gateway to Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is just a few more miles up the road here. It's not a backpack uh, tent, but definitely one you can throw in a, in a vehicle for sure. Throw it in your trunk or in the back of your truck. Tent poles. Ratchet straps. I think that's the, uh, I think this is the rain fly. Yeah. And? The main tent. The actual tent itself. So let's lay it all out and see uh, where we're gonna put this thing. We have tons of trees in this area, so we're gonna use this tree, that tree, and that tree. Obviously your head goes here and your feet goes towards the end. So we chose that tree for this corner, that tree for that corner, and then all the way to the back for the, uh, for the feet. And then as you can see, once you pick out which tree is gonna go towards your feet, that's where you can center the tent in between the two side trees. So you may have a short uh, strap on one side and a longer strap on the other, so you can center it on the tail tree, I guess you could call it. So you're gonna to wanna to pick a nice substantial sized tree so it'll hold your weight up. You know, you don't want something too small. Okay, you're gonna take your strap and wrap it around the tree. Just like that. Pull that through. Pull it all the way through. Then you're gonna take your strap, wrap it around the tree roughly four feet above the ground. You can go a little higher if you want to, but they recommend four feet. To attach the ratchet strap to the tent, you'll locate the deer ring at the corner of the tent. Run the strap through, open it up, and then run the ratchet strap through itself and pull it tight, just like that. See how this ratchet goes back and forth like that? You wanna make sure you feed your uh, webbing tail in from this section here and then down, all right? Like that, in and down. Because once you get the correct distance, like that, it'll be easy for this thing to feed and tighten, okay? See what I mean? If you want to unlock it, you pull this lock here up with your fingers like this. That unlocks it. If you want to release the tension completely, you just go all the way out like that and you break the tension. So from here, I can tighten it with my hand down here on the bottom. See this right here? I can tighten it and then let go of the lock and start locking it in. So you can adjust the tent where you want it just by doing that simple move right there. And then when you're done, Push it all the way closed like this. And it shouldn't go anywhere because those are basically locked in. If you want to um, tie some straps on here to lock this down, you could do that if you want to, but you really don't need to. And then of course, if you want to clean up the tail end here, you can either tie it here like this, and tie it, keep it off the ground, roll it up, put it in a bag, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it hanging for the video. But yeah, that's a quick lesson on the ratchet straps. So now you can go to all three corners and start tightening it up. Like that. 
Okay, so like I said, if your tent isn't perfectly oriented right when you lay it out, it's okay. You can adjust the uh, tent from left to right once you have your tail section tied down. So I kept everything relatively loose. It's not under a whole lot of tension. And now you can see me adjust it side to side till it's perfect. Just like any, any other uh, tent out there, it comes with some tent poles. And they're one of those tent poles that just almost put themselves together. All right, they made it pretty simple. Orange poles go into the orange sleeves. Can't mess that up, right? All right, so once you put the poles in the orange sleeves, you're gonna see these plastic cups. There you go. That side's in. You know what? Looks yep. like it. Yep, there it is. Easy peasy, just like that, <laughs> the tent is up. It only takes literally minutes. That's oh cool. Boy. One, two, three. Ha. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's, it's actually flat now. Right. Yeah, that's cool. So this is uh, how you would kind of hang out in this thing in the day. Nice and high off the ground. This is about three and a half, four feet off the ground. Keeps the bugs away from you, a nice comfortable place to chill out, out in the forest away from the bugs. Pretty nice. And if you look here, you got zipper pulls with these uh, rubber ergonomic zipper extensions here. And they're both on the inside and the outside, so he can undo this from the inside as well. Yeah. So you can open it up like that, all the way if you want to make Hello. a door. And you can even roll this up too. If you want to roll this up, there's some toggles. So check this out. The screen opens up to this point. It also opens up all the way out there. like that. You still have this center portion here, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so let me get in here. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. So I'm 200 pounds. He's 90 pounds. And uh, clearly this thing holds up nice. That is awesome. All right, so. Whoop. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you see how this center strap keeps me from rolling into his side? Lay down. I would actually be rolling into your side because you're heavy. He ends up staying on his side and I stay on my side. Yeah. This is actually really comfortable. <laughs> I like it. All right, so we showed you the, the head entrance. There's also a side entrance as well. Pretty cool, right? So if you want to hop in on the side, just come in like this. Oh my gosh. And now you have side entrance, where it's lower over here. This is more like a traditional hammock on this side. If you look right here inside the tent, you have a little uh, gear bag that just clips in. You can uh, take it off if you don't want it on there. We'll leave it on. So not only can you put your gear in the pocket up there, but it has little side pockets as well. Keep your phone, keys, flashlights, whatever. What if it starts raining? You're gonna need a rain fly. So let's go ahead and show you guys what the uh, rain fly looks like. So the rain fly comes in a little pouch like this. Figuring out the rain fly is pretty easy. The very long tail is where the feet go basically. That's where all three seams come together. And just like that the rain fly is up. As you can see we connected it to itself underneath so it's like a cocoon really. Um, or you can um, stake it to the ground they provide you with stakes and uh, extra cordage so you can stake it to the ground and make it a little bit more wide so you can have more airflow or just more coverage in general with the uh, rain fly staked out it gives you a little bit of area here to work so if you got to take your shoes off put your gear away you can do that without getting wet you can uh, hang your feet off the edge pretty cool and you can, here's a cool part about these kind of tents. You can put all your backpacks and gear and whatever underneath your tent. So it actually stays dry as well. 
So it acts like a, a cover for all your gear. So it's like a dual purpose. You sleep on the top and your gear goes on the bottom. All right guys, so there you have it. That is a look at the Tensile Connect tree tent. Pretty awesome, right? If you're looking for a unique experience, some family fun, something different, something unique, conversation piece. Everybody's gonna be like, what is that? They never seen a tent like that at a campground before. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I could really uh, see this thing being good for people who don't want to sleep on the ground or who live in an area that have a lot of rocks, as you can see, bushes, rocks, and you don't want to sit there and spend a bunch of time clearing it all out. Just put your tent right above it. Pretty cool, right? Put this over a stream or a creek and you can actually have a cool experience where you can camp right over a river or a stream that would be awesome and if you're really extreme and you have the skills to climb these trees maybe you're a, a mountain climber or something you could figure out a way to put this way high up in the trees put this thing up 20 30 40 feet up in the air and then have like a rope ladder or something to get up there that'd be awesome or what I'd like to do is maybe have three or four of these in different levels that would be cool so you can have like a like a skyscraper uh, treehouse out in the woods. <laughs> uh, I know they make um, another tent that has a hole in the middle so you can climb up through the middle. It's a lot bigger than this one. And um, you can do that. You can put you know two on top of each other like uh, bunk beds. That's pretty awesome. So a lot of cool, fun ideas with this kind of tent. And it's not that expensive. I mean, rooftop tents for trucks, I mean, those are thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, this is only, this is, you know, only a, a few hundred dollars and you get an awesome, unique experience with your family. All right, guys, if you want to buy this tent, make sure you click the link below this video. It's going to take you directly to campsaver.com and make sure you put my discount code in there so you can get 10% off. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hit that like to support my channel. I appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. Ring that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about tensile tree tents. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.